This is Nick with logosbynick.com and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can open and import SVG files using Affinity Designer. And this is a problem you may have run into if you're a new user to Affinity. If you've tried opening vector files with Affinity before, you may have noticed that you're not able to edit them as you normally would with any other vector software. This is a problem I ran into myself when I first started using the software and it was quite frustrating so I figured I would create this video and put it out there just to help you out if that describes your situation as well. So let's say we have this example design opened up here. We have this document and you want to import a vector object onto your artboard. To do that you can go to file and click on place and choose your design. I have this vector objects.svg as an example. I created this with Inkscape and I'm going to place this into the design here. And if you zoom in on this, you can see that this is indeed a vector object because it scales infinitely without quality loss. However, the problem is you can't edit this the same way you would any other vector object. If you try to change the color, as you see me doing here, nothing happens visibly, visibly on the page. If you try to edit the individual nodes, there's nothing there to edit. If you try ungrouping it, nothing happens. In fact, there's virtually nothing you can do with this object other than scale it or maybe rotate it. So the reason why this happens is because whenever you open a vector file or import it with Affinity, it imports it as an embedded document. Or in other words, all of the properties of this document are embedded into a single layer. And to undo that, we have to release this to a series of individual layers. So to do that, what you can do is you can just select the object and click on Edit Document right here, and it's going to open it up in a new tab. And what you want to do is click on this arrow right here to expand this into a series of individual layers. And this is what we're looking for right here. We want to hold shift and click on each of these layers. Or if you want an easy way to select all of them, just press control A. And as you can see, it selects them all right there. And now what you could do is right click it and go to release. And it's now going to release it from a single embedded layer to a series of individual layers with each object on its own layer. And what you can do now is just right click it and go to copy. Come back over here into your document by clicking on the tab up here to the left. Move this out of the way, then just right click on your document and press paste. And there you go, there is your object. And you can now edit these individual objects as if they were vector designs that you created yourself. So that is how you can go about opening and importing uh, SVG files and other vector assets using Affinity Designer. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.